Okay? So for our experiment, we are going to do activity 1, which is in uh, page 3 of your lab manual. Okay? So this is all about plants are living. So the aim of our investigation is how is water transported in vascular plants? So when we say vascular plants, these are plants that have stem. Okay? So what are the materials that we are going to use? Now, it's written there, three plastic cups, but here we are going to use, um, this is what we call a cone flask, or a conical flask, I mean. So this is a conical flask, okay? It's shaped like a cone, that's why it is known as conical. So we are going to use three conical flasks, okay? And then there will be water in each conical flask, and we put 200 ml of water. Okay, for each conical flask, for each flask. So, um, to make it a fair test. So, you know fair test, you are going to change only the one that you are investigating and the rest will be the same. So, we are not going to change the volume of the water. And then the next one, we have the three celery stalks. Okay, we have the celery stalks here. And then, we have to use a ruler. Okay, now, uh, we are going to use also food coloring, but we're going to use the red one, not the blue one. Okay, so what we are going to do first, first thing to do is you are going to answer the prediction. Okay, so prediction means that your guess on what is going to happen in our experiment, what you are expecting to happen. So in your prediction, there is uh, the question there is how does the amount of leaves on a plant affect the transport through the stem. So that means we are going to investigate whether this leaves okay, of the celery has the effect on how fast okay, the water will be transported by the stem. Okay? So we go to the procedure, but first we have to fill up first your prediction. Okay? So uh, we have to post this video for you to have the chance to write what is your prediction. So let's go to the procedure. For the procedure, the first thing to do is to fill the plastic cups or the conical plastic with water. So we have here, we have the same amount. And then we are going to put three drops of food coloring. Now, we're not using the liquid food coloring, but instead we are using the powdered one. So to make it fair, we are going to use this, the, the spatula and the spoon. Okay, we're going to put one teaspoon of the food coloring to each people. So we're going to place first here, first one, okay, and then also on the second people, one teaspoon, and the third one. Okay, is the red food coloring, and then. Using the steering rod, we're going to steer the food color to mix it properly. Okay, that is a nice red color for the water. And then the other one. Actually, we can uh, mix this one without using the, uh, the steering rod. You just you know do it like this one. You just have to move the water by shaking, twirling the conical flask. Okay? And then we have the third one. Now let's try not to use the stirring rod. So we're just going to mix it like this one. Yeah. Okay? So you can see the red coloring. And then, after that, for our first speaker here, so we are going to put a stalk wherein um, all the leaves were removed. So it is just a stem. So it is just a stalk here. Okay? And then on the second one, we're going to put a stalk wherein there is only one leaf. Oh, one leaf. Yeah, one leaf that is left behind on the stalk. Okay, so we have here. And on the last one, we're going to, okay, um, we're not going to change anything. The leaves will be all there. Okay? 
Okay? So now we're going to put all these things on the uh, according of us. Okay? So let's start with the first one. And then we are going to observe for 15 minutes. Let's see if there will be some changes there. Okay? Then I'm going to move the camera near our setups so that you will be to all, you will be able to hear our setups. So we're going to observe. We're going to time at least let's say um, um, 15 minutes. Then after 15 minutes, we will see. Okay, which one will have the highest level of water? reach on that given time and then we will be able to find out um, which of these setups will have uh, the fastest okay, uh, time where the water is transported by the stem. Is it the one without the leaves or is it the one that has one leaf and the one that has, you know, we did not do any change at all. Okay, so we're just going to wait for 15 minutes. I can already see some red coloring on the one with the, a lot of leaves left behind, if you will be able to see that. Okay, so there are now some red colors there. Okay, I hope you were able to see that. Okay, one while on the other one. Okay. Still, they don't have. Okay, so I think this proves that this one, 
with the most of the leaves intact. Okay, so um, the the water is transported faster than the one without the leaves because it is the first one that shows some red coloring on its stem. So here is our setups after 15 minutes. Okay, unfortunately, we weren't able to measure how high the water for each the setup because the movement of the water is very fast. Okay, so what we are going to do instead, um, um, we're not going to write the measurement. Instead, we're going to uh, identify how fast the movement of the water is. Now, since the one with a lot of leaves, okay, shows the first sign of red coloring on the stem, so that means this one, the movement of the water is very fast. Then here, okay, with the one with the leaf, with what one leaf I mean, okay, the movement of the water is fast, but not as fast as the one with the, a lot of leaves. And lastly, on, on, the, on the last one, I mean, it doesn't have any leaves, okay? So um, the movement of the water is a bit slower compared to the other setups. So we weren't able to measure how high because really um, the water moves so fast in the stem.